Yeah, she's working the champagne room. Follow me. Hey, Quagmire, you, uh, you ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! All right! All right! All right! Eh, enough time passes, you'll forget all about him. Just like Inspector Gadget forgot about that one-night stand. Suzanne, we have to talk. Okay. Someone has made contact with me, someone from my past, and, well, long story short, go, go, Guatemalan son. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy, like a group of women ordering dessert. And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> <laughs> What? Griffin, we just had an opening. Congratulations, you're now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. You know, I was so desperate there for a while, I even tried a Jewish club. Ah, uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus! Besides, if I listened to you guys, I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Okay, let's take a look at your baby, shall we? Hi. He'll be right back. He's in the bathroom. Try anything new today? Talk to anyone interesting? No, not really. Oh, that beef bowl is wrecking me. My stomach feels like that time I had explosive diarrhea. Roundhouse. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Wow, Brian, you've had quite a string of female guests spend the night lately. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> well, I guess you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. Peter, how long do we have to sit here? Until I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches! Oh, thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. You forgot to I say... I forgot to say clear. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. Oh, well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You... What? Why? I don't know. They all kind of look the same. What do you mean, they all look the same? I'm sorry, we're all booked up because the slut convention's in town. Slut convention? Yeah, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on, like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm gonna turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. Gee, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. I knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done much worse with him. He's got a terrible tell. <gasps> hey, 
Any cards, Peter? No, I'm good. Yeah, even school's getting more dangerous. The bullies have been so busy, they're outsourcing their bullying to India. Okay, do you see the back of your underwear in the mirror? Yes. Okay, I want you to pull it up as high as you can. It's a phone sex operation. I can't do this. It pays two grand a week, sweetie. Oh, my God. With that type of money, I could buy pots and pans at William Sonoma. This is a very nice set. You must be a phone whore. You bet your sweet ass I am. Wait a minute. Maybe not, Brian. I think I just got an idea. Ah, I got glass in my face! Oh, crap. Now I forgot what it was. I got it! Yeah, son of a bitch! Oh, wow, this is awesome. You know Jeff Garland has one of these in his house. Ah, I love this chair. Dog in a Jets jersey, get in here. God, I have the best basement. Where does this girl? Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? Come on, can't you give that giraffe at home another chance? You know, for every one they sell, they save a giraffe in the wild. Sorry, giraffe. They only bought one. Nah, they returned it. The History Channel presents Where in World War II is Waldo? Wow, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a lucky guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter, one more day. Yay! I saw what I looked like in a car window, and now I don't want to go. What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. Oh, look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Oh, my God, we did it. We struck gold. This is amazing. We're going to be rich. Rich and gay. Come here. Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Barbara Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? He uses regular he bullets. He uses regular bullets. Ah, it's enormous. Lois, this is probably a terrible time to remember this, but I think I might have left the weed whacker on. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <gasps> get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. I mean, the last plane I was on got gay-jacked. This plane's going to Miami! <laughs> You should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. I may have gambled away our plane tickets. You what? How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. I'd like to bet my daughter's virginity on 23. I'm sorry, it's 31. Ow! How's it going here? Not great. I know what you mean. We just took a pounding at the craps table. It's weird. He doesn't even talk. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. Hmm. We now return to Canadian Horror Story. Hey, hon, we're out of Molson. Oh, not to worry. We've got some Labats in the garage. And could you get one for the ghost? Boo, eh? And then somebody replaced Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. People are gonna miss me when I'm... <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars. Good evening. I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for women everywhere and also the Jews. Good night. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? 
It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. We now return to Bottom Chef. Daniel L., please pack your fudge and go. Fine! Well, there goes my music career. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a Sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. I am gonna make this family proud. And not just you guys, but that old painting of my ancestor in the attic. I did it! I'm gonna be on TV! Did you kill the others? I shan't! You must. <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? This place is a nuthouse. No, no, they, they won't let you down easy like I did. New York can be pretty harsh, especially to outsiders. Hello, New York! But I've taken on bigger challenges before. I had to explain to America why Heidi Klum broke up with Seal. Faith. <laughs>